In this video, I'm going to be repairing this 10 foot 6 Fnatic SUP board. And for a bit of added pressure, I'm going to try and do it by the week weekend. Damn it! This is the hole that I'm going to try and repair. I'm going to take out the old temporary repair, grind it back, and I'm going to put some new epoxy resin in, hopefully get it completely smooth, and take out these splits here to give, leave a really neat job. So that's going to take a bit of time, and also I've got to sort this issue out as well. first job is probably going to be to cut away all this fiberglass here to give a good overlap surface then I'm going to put in a feather edge so I can smooth in the new resin. Just noticed how thin the fiberglass is on the top, on the base or the top of the board, and then on the rail it's extremely thick compared, so I need to copy that. do is try and lay in a smaller piece then onto a slightly wider piece and wider and wider again probably at its worst point. One thing I wish I did a little bit differently was the way I put the fiberglass in and built it up into layers. These edges here are actually at different heights. So if these are the, this is the top edge of the board. What I've done is I've laid in fiberglass, I've feather edged it down here and here, and then laid in small layers and built it up layer by layer bridging it more and more. That was my intention, but what's actually happened is it's gone much lower than I thought and I've ended up with this kind of trough that I've tried to fill in afterwards with some resin. It would, would have been a lot better if I brought the surface up to being level first using some polystyrene and then filled over the with a feather edge, did some level fills here and then went back to sand it down. So the reason it looks like a mess is because I filled this area here in fiberglass. It's not a very neat job right now, but when I take the clean film off and sand it back, I'll be able to level it off and that'll make it look good, but it's structurally sound right now. I don't know if it's gonna hold together, but we'll see, we'll find out. Oh, the pain. Didn't actually manage to finish the sup board in time, so I'm out on this. On the long board again. But I've got a lot to do on the sup board still. The fiberglass didn't set in time. It actually takes um, like 24 hours for it to cure properly. 
but I'm going to do a proper job of it and feather edge it properly. So it's going to look really good and it's going to be absolutely solid when it's done. It's going to be worthwhile. On this channel I do a lot of different things. So I'll be doing repairs, fixing, mainly water-based projects. So if you're new, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.